What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Dylan here, just eating some Chipotle. Got myself a little bowl with a tortilla on the side. But today we're going to be making a Lil Skies type beat. Um, I just thought it'd be a good idea with this album just dropping and a lot of people might be interested in that. Additionally, I just dropped my first loop kit, which is 100% free. Uh, you can get that in the description. Just click the link and download it. It is not royalty free though, so if you're for some reason like a, I guess a big producer or something like that, or if you get a placement, then you know we'll have to we'll have to talk about it. But if you're just a regular producer, just making beats and that sort of things, feel free to use it. And if you make something dope, feel free to send it my way. I would love to hear it. Uh, but without further ado, let's get into it. All right, so the first thing that I'm gonna get started with in this beat is I'm gonna just start with some keys. So I got some keys right here. I'm just using the far, far away retro piano in Omnisphere. And I'm just gonna start by laying out some chords and then kind of work from there. And I'm gonna show you guys like a cool little thing you can do with chords. And what I'm basically doing right here is if you just go up, I believe that was what? One, two, three, four, five, six. Go up, so there's like six notes in between right here. And if you just do that really quickly, all you have to do is determine whether it's gonna be a minor or a major key. And all you do for that is, for two spaces, this means this is a minor key. And then if I wanted to bring it up three, then that's a major key. And that's all you kind of do. And you can kind of just see what sounds good together by um, just changing these notes. So let's see how this sounds. So once you have your chords built like this, one thing that you can do to kind of give it a cooler sound is just move the positioning of each of the notes in the chord. So like for example, I move this here, and then this here, and then just hear how it sounds. That sounds cooler than just like a regular chord, right? So I'm just gonna do that throughout. Alright, so I like that so far. That sounds pretty good. Um, and I'm just going to copy this over. It's kind of like a melodic sound that'll probably play throughout the beat. The last thing I'm going to do is I'm going to drop it down an octave so it sounds a little bit deeper. All 
All right, so now I got like this flute open. You can kind of just use any like similar sound and I'm actually, which is weird because I'm using a flute, I'm gonna kind of copy these chords that I have right here and just kind of have it play at like a different rhythm. Because I'm lazy and this is easy. I probably won't have them play all the way though. And I'll probably like change up one of them. Like this one will play at the beginning. So all I'm doing here, it's literally I'm just going over the same chords. That's like a good way to add another additional melody and like different sounds and just kind of change the tempo of it a little bit, which is what I did right here, but nothing too crazy. It just all kind of works together. It's like a Chipotle bowl, you know? A lot going on, but you know, it's not too much. It's just simple enough where it's not too crazy and it's delicious. <laughs> That sounds good. I'm just going to copy this over as well. Then one thing I did to kind of spread out the sound is I just put this stereo imager on it. And what that does is, you know, most of the sounds like right here, it makes the sound go right here. So I think that's a nice little melody going. Let's throw some drums on this now. Maybe add like an additional top melody. so far. All right, so I got a good bounce going thus far, but I'm gonna add a little bit extra uh, before I throw on the 808s, because I like to usually do that when I have a bit more drums on. But let me get one, Let's say like this. All right, so I got this hi-hat here, and what I'm gonna do, and this is kind of like a cool, I guess this is like the sauce of the day, essentially, because this is kind of cool. I'm not sure that a lot of people know about this, but what you can do, because at least for me, you know, I'll be clicking in, I'll be listening to a beat, and I'll pick out my hi-hat or my drum, and I'll be like, just clicking it in, whatnot, and be like, oh man, I wish I could record that without having to like tap it into MIDI, and you can. All you have to do is, Go up to the instrument once you drag it over here. Go over to this wrench or whatever this is. And then just click record and then just click it in. So that's what I'm gonna do right here. definitely fucked up at towards the end of that but still that's like pretty tight I'll probably have like a roll right here let's see and then there you have it all right there so that's like the little sauce of the day thumbs up subscribe please Jesus Christ I'm going to try to throw in these types of tips in pretty much every video um, just always try and leave a little gem I'll call it like the secret sauce of the day and that's just one little item um, Now let's add the 808. This 
my favorite part of making any beats. A lot of people will do this a little bit earlier on, but I usually like to save it for the save it for last, save the best for last, you know. I like this. Yep. All right, super simple. Uh, I'm just gonna throw a kick underneath that. All right, guys, so that is pretty much the video. Thank you guys for checking it out. Feel free to leave a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and subscribe if you wanna see more videos in the future. And yeah, download my free loop kit because if you don't like it, you can just delete it because it's free. Uh, but anyways, I will see you guys soon. Peace. And if I don't see you ever again, have a good life. <laughs>